Jeff was much more than a government servant. His reputation and his presence preceded him. Everybody knew who he was before they even met him. Jeff really went to bat for people who are the most vulnerable, who are the most marginalized, who are the most misunderstood. It was just really impactful for me just to see a Japanese American man who was really critical of racist policies, was really critical of police brutality. A few days after he had passed, there was a community vigil. Former clients, former friends, all came. Jeff really set the bar uh, nationally as to what a public defender should do. The fire in the belly, if you will, about being treated with uh, dignity was something that Jeff had um, for a very, very long time. Starting at the age of 19, he was involved in a legal defense committee to get a young man by the name of Chul Su Lee free for a murder that he did not commit. His interaction with Chul Su exposed him to the criminal defense aspect of equal rights. And it didn't stop there. That was his root and his passion with social justice. Jeff was an ally on, on many of our issues, particularly the sanctuary work, the deportation defense work, and the criminal justice work. He would oftentimes take on the most controversial, challenging, and difficult cases himself and go into the courtroom, and he was known for going as far as he could. You would turn on the TV and you'll see Jeff um, showing videos of police officers breaking into single room occupancy units. He knew he had to expose police abuse uh, and misconduct and he knew that if he was really hitting at the heart of the problem, it wouldn't be taken very well. Jeff's impact on his clients' lives was more than just this traditional label of attorney and client. One of his clients was charged with a very serious crime. She was looking at 25 years to life. Not only did he win the case and uh, his client was found not guilty and she was reunited with her daughter, he would check in with his client and the mother and see how the family is doing. Zuff was everywhere, supporting one cause after another. He wanted to show up and support the community. He put himself on your level. He saw you as a person, so that it made sense for this 24-year-old, like, doe-eyed kid to make jokes with him and to feel comfortable and to actually, like, ask him, like, what are your ideas or what should I be doing next and to be able to seek that guidance. There are hundreds of stories of young Asian American lawyers that either do social justice work or don't that he inspired because of who he is. He's irreplaceable, but I would like to hope that we can all learn from him and keep furthering who he was and what he stood for. The expectation is that public defenders are just going to go along with the system. And I hated that. The objective in our office is to provide better representation than a person would receive if they paid for a lawyer. And now the attorneys that I train, I want to make sure that we have natural born rebels. We need people who are not gonna be afraid of government, of the authority. It's our job to fight the power.